Hey guys, it's Samantha from Samantha's Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be the third installment of one stamp, three cards, three different looks. So if you've been following the series, um, probably haven't because I haven't had many views, but if you have, or if you can't find this later down the road, um, I'm taking one stamp or one die cut and then trying to make three different cards, three different looks, maybe three different techniques. Um, so the, I chose a stamp that's really old that's in my stash, but maybe you have something similar. And it is, this is just for inspiration purposes. It is this old Technique Tuesday stamp that I have. It's a border stamp. Looks like a vine with some leaves wrapped around it. Super duper cute. Had it forever, but wanted to bring it back out and give it some new life. So today... We're going to use it in a different way. The first time we use it as a little accent piece on the inside of a card instead of on the front. The second card um, in the series, and that'll be the one linked at the end of the video if you want to kind of go back and look at that. And I will probably create a playlist too so you can find these card series. But um, on that one, we use this to basically make a little scene, a little vine. Um, scene for a fairy or some flowers to be in that was just really super cute. I was so happy the way that turned out. So I started playing with the idea. I haven't made the card. I have, I think I have a good plan. So we're going to see how it turns out, guys. And I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit. I've got a lot of pre-work done, so I'm hoping this will be a little bit shorter video. If you are someone who likes shorter versus longer, let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to, um, see what people like. I, I tend to navigate to both depending on my mood and why I'm watching videos. So I would love to hear from you. All right, so we're gonna start with this um, stamp. And this is my card base already made. It is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. It is a side folding or top, uh, yeah, I guess a side folding, is that what you would call it? Um, because I know that my stamps are gonna go this way on the card. So um, it, I cut it eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, um, scored it, I mean, excuse me, cut it at the five and a half mark, and then scored it at four and a quarter to make this card base. I'm um, going monochromatic this card, so I have some different color blues, um, have a little bit of purple in them too. This is more of a navy, but I like the way they look together. So, what we're going to do is we're going to white heat emboss on the colors. I have most of this already done, so I'm only going to show you a couple of um, panels, and I think we're going to probably do what I have left over, the littler pieces, these two colors right here. Okay, so let me get out my stamping platform, and we'll get started. All right. Okay, so I have my stab stamping platform here um, with my little magnets. Uh, last time I made my made the the other strips prior to this video, um, I kind of did this in the middle, and it was a little interesting. But because you want this as straight as you can get it, so today I'm just going to use the bottom of my stamping platform to help me get this lined up straight because I really do want it to be straight as it possibly can be. Okay, gonna bring you guys up a little bit. Ooh, all right. I didn't want that to hit the camera. Okay, so that looks good and straight. I am happy with that, I think. Yes. Another way you can check is I use a T ruler. All right, where's my T ruler? Also, and use it to butt this up against it. See, there's a little. All right, I feel like that's pretty straight. Okay, I am going to actually move this down just a little like that. Find my anti-static bag so we don't have any fingerprints showing up where we don't want them. And then I'm going to use just some Versamark ink. Add this to the stamp just like that. Rub it down really well. Good impression. 
I'm going to do the other one and then just do the heat embossing part at the same time. Same old process. You guys who've been doing card making know all about this. This is what kind of got me into card making was the whole embossing ink melting. Gosh, I was just, first time I saw that, I was hooked. I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. All right. Oops. Okay, let me clean my stamp. All right, this is what I love about Versamark ink is it stays sticky for quite a bit at a time, so it's very forgiving. Okay, perfect. And let's do this one. Okay, so down at this end, I didn't use my anti-static powder tool really well because it's looking a little muddy. So I'm going to carefully use a dry paintbrush to try to clean this up as best I can. And then this little section didn't get enough powder. Okay, good enough. And then I just used the um, folded piece of copy paper, dump it right back in so I'll have my embossing powder ready for the next go around. All right, I'm going to off screen melt the powder because I'm sure you don't want to hear my um, heat tool. So hold on one moment. Okay, so here are all the pre-strip, the pre-cutting um, I did prior to meeting with you guys. So we're going to take these last two and cut them down. I, you know, I'm not being specific. I know a lot of people are. I'm pre pretty much a kind of fly by the seat of my pants kind of person, card maker. And if it's close, I'm cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm cool with that. I don't let that stuff bother me too badly. Okay, and we're gonna do this one as well. Because this is handmade, and to me, oh, I don't want to go that way. To me, it's more important that you spend the time working on it to create something to make somebody smile than the fact that it's completely straight, completely perfect. Eh. Yeah, he's got time for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have a piece of typing paper that's four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to um, use some tape runner. Make sure my tape runner is full. And I'm going to add all these strips on this page. I think this will be the easiest process. I could have used cardstock for this, and you can definitely do that. I wouldn't use anything too heavyweight. Because then, well, you could. I mean, it's kind of just up to you. But I wanted to do the copy paper because um, I had some extra lying around. And that way it wouldn't be, the, the layers wouldn't be too thick. And of course, it is sticking to me. You see this? Oh my goodness. This is Elmer's Tape Runner. This is my favorite. Everybody has their favorite. Mine, I, I tend to, to pick the cheapest brand that does the greatest job. I guess that's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. Now, these strips are, I think, four and a quarter long. I did that because I knew. So, you're going to have some, a little bit of wiggle room. Once you get the first one down and it's straight, and I think that's probably the straightest I've ever gotten anything, so I'm very proud. Um, then you just line up the other ones. It's very, You just butt up but the next one up against it so it's really easy peasy lemon squeezy okay and i'm just following the order that i determined that I liked, which was the lightest to the darkest. Okay, that one almost got too short. I have to be careful. Gotta be careful. And like I said, I'm just butting up 
the next one in the line up here. So Dag on it. I must have cut some of these crooked because it's already Yeah, see that's a little crooked. How the heck did I do that? Ugh, Columba. I don't know how I did that, people. But I did. It's okay. I'm going to go with it. It'll still be cute in the end. Okay, so this is the last one. I'm going to save this one for the inside of the card. Okay. Now we got, we're going to turn this over and trim it down. I like, um, a lot of people are really good with scissors and do that all the time with scissors. Me, eh. Not so much. I'd rather use my guillotine trimmer. I think I do a better job cut, getting things cut off and where it needs to be. And I'm trying to get this the guard here right at the edge of that white. Uh, I need to go over a little bit. I thought that was where it's going to cut. But no. There we go. Perfect. And this one, okay, then we've got our panel right here, okay, all right, I'm going to use this post-it tape to kind of help hold the inside of the card closed while I work on it. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put this little strip. Do I want it here? See, that's going to look weird. Maybe go over to the side. I think it over to the side. Okay. It's always nice to look, add a little element on the inside of your cards. Not everybody does that, but I just kind of like the look of that. I don't do it all the time, but every time I do it, I'm so much more satisfied and happy that I did. I think it looks really cool. Just like that. And then this helps me keep this all down. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And see, it's showing the crookedness. Oh, that is so annoying. Oh well, going with it. Not going to worry about it. I think it's going to be sinking cute anyway. And if it's not, you can just lie to me in the comments and tell me it is. <laughs> There we go. So now we've used this cute little stamp to make a background. Now I do want a focal point. So this is what I came up with. I die cut some of these things ahead of time. These are just, this is a doily that I'm going to just kind of put over to the side. Um, these are, I get these at Walmart, I believe, and they're Wilton 4 inch doilies, 30 in a pack. I love these for back toppers as well. But today I wanted it to add it um, here. Because to me, that when I was looking at this, it kind of reminded me of kind of Asian or Intel feeling to it. Um, so a fan would be really cute on this as well. But I didn't take the time to cut one of the, the a fan out of my crit with my Cricut Explorer. So instead I'm just going to use this dually. So I'm just going to add some tape runner. And I'm also going to take do some on the inside to kind of close it. Up, 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 up. It's not lining up correctly. There we go. Okay. So, there. Cute. Okay. Then I die cut some um, foliage. Fo fo foliage? That one's hard to say. At least for the southern girl who can't pronounce anything. Okay. These, so when I did this, I was like, that is way too white. So I did color one. 
here wood sprig that's going to be in the center and I'm going to use some of this silver um, thread kind of hard to see but I'm going to tie it like a bouquet at the bottom now I used sharpies to color this it was really simple to color um, just use the tip of it to color each of the flowers and then the green to do um, the stem very simple I didn't do any shading or anything took me two seconds to do that so let me fuss with this little bouquet and then we'll be right back okay I made a sweet little bouquet and then I have the silver string it's really really delicate um, so I think I'm just gonna use my Elmer's uh, craft bond it's liquid adhesive to put that right here and I put in it liberally um, and it's if, if it shows it's not you don't have to worry about this showing because it is really strong adhesive number one and number two it dries clear so you don't have to worry so much about the everything showing but I'm gonna put another dot of glue here because I, I want them to look like they're free but also I want them to be pretty steady and then I'm gonna put a, a block this is what I do all the time on top and let that dry okay while well, that's drying um, I have a sentiment I make uh, this is Cricut sticker paper and I use this with my Cricut actually what am I saying this is Cricut sticker paper but I made these with my computer and I have had a whole sheet and I'm dwindling down I've been really good about using these taking me forever but I'm using them so I make little things that maybe match stamps or things sayings that I've seen elsewhere that I think are really cute so um, I don't always have on hand something that makes people know that I'm really thinking about them and praying for them so this one I'm sending out prayers is what I'm gonna add to this so I'm just gonna cut this down and again I'm gonna use the my guillotine trimmer now I saw this little technique by um, Jennifer McGuire that I'm gonna try on this because this is gonna be really difficult to shove under here and do but if you make a handle it makes it a little bit easier so what am I gonna use to make a handle oh, tape runner. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do so you just take a little piece of cardstock that you got lying around and see I'm just gonna add that here of course now I've got some sticky there but that's okay and then that way I have a handle to get this where I want it to go okay so this getting older means you are getting whatever that I'm sure I have a cut that out for a, another card and then okay let me get a little bit of that now this is difficult because it's not a lot of cardstock left to get this straight, but I'm going to try my best here. And then while I got this Happy Valentine's, I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's cut as well. Alrighty, sending up prayers. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna add that to this piece, the same piece of cardstock because this is the color I think I want to use. I can't remember what's on the inside. Or do I want to use dark? I think the dark's gonna look show up a little better. So I'm going to take this off the adhesive off of this. I'm gonna add it up here at the corner. Up now. And then we're going to cut this down. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Okay, all that's left is to add the little sentiment for this. I think I'm going to use my eighth of an inch um, score tape. 
Easy peasy. Easy peasy. What am I saying? Jeez, people. Obviously, I need some more sleep. Stayed up way too much late last night. I don't know why I was up late. I just kind of, I guess it was Friday and I was just glad to relax and wasn't ready to. But in the next day, I always feel like I'm, I am um, very low caffeinated, have no energy. Because I stayed up too late. I'm not used to doing that. Uh, getting older is really difficult. <clears throat> All those things you used to do in your 20s and didn't think anything of, you just can't do anymore. Okay, so guys, here's the card. Very cute, sending up prayers. Love using this beautiful stamp as a background. Could have done a little better getting the background straight, but in the end, I'm very happy with it. I think it's super cute. And then here on the inside, I have another repeating of the vine just to bring, uh, bring it all together. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some inspiration, and I hope you're having a great day. See you next time.